Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. Every college says 100% placement. Every website also shows the highest package, but no one tells you the most important truth. Placements don't happen college-wise, they happen branch-wise. Two students can sit in the same campus, attend the same convocation, and yet walk out with different career outcomes, simply because they choose different branches in the same college. That's why choosing a college without understanding branch-wise placements data is one of the biggest mistakes that students make. In this series, we'll go beyond hype and headlines. No cherry-pick salaries, no inflated averages, no marketing language. Because the right question is not whether this college is good or not. The right question should be, is this branch in this college good for me or not? And what we're going to do now is to talk of chemical engineering across all the IITs and IITs uh, and so on and so forth. And the reason why we're doing that is we know that, you know, it's branches that get you the highest salary and the lowest salary and not necessarily just the college. There are enough and more cases where, you know, in a college with a better branch, you actually get far better placement prospects as compared to uh, in, a, in a good college with a not so good branch. So what, and when I say good and bad branches, I'm only talking of in terms of placement. It's not that a branch is good or bad. If your choice is to get into a core engineering or any other engineering, just feel free. It is just that at this point in time, we are only representing that in terms of the placement numbers and nothing more and nothing less. It's not an opinion that we have about what is a good and what is a bad branch, right? So when we talk of chemical engineering, before, by the way, before I move forward, if you have not subscribed to BTEC 360, please do it right now. We're going to work very, very hard to ensure that you have all information, all data to help you decide which college, which branch and how you must go about making those choices. It's very, very difficult that we get this data. This is something that is not there in public uh, you know, domain. We really work hard to get this data. So to do subscribe to BTEC 360 if you want access to all this data and more. Now coming to the data that we have. At this point in time, we got data for chemical engineering from about eight IITs and seven NITs. There might be a few more that offer chemical engineering as a branch, but the data that we are presenting is from the 15 uh, institutions only. Eight of them are IITs and seven of them are NITs. And how do we get the data? These are typical RTI uh, data that we get. This is from, uh, I think, uh, NIT Durgapur. This is from NIT Durgapur, uh, where we actually talk of branch-wise, what is the maximum salary? Branch wise, what's the average salary, lowest salary, students participated, play students, and students opting out of placement process. So that's the kind of data that we have at this point in time. So this for NIT Durgapur, very clearly if you notice this, very NIT Durgapur. And we have this data. So for example, chemical engineering, the branch highest salary was 13.6 lakh rupees in NIT Durgapur. The average salary was 7.2 lakh rupees. The lowest salary was 5 lakh rupees. The students who participated in placement is 68 and the number of students who were placed in the NIT Durga was 48. So you actually have only about 60% students placed at the lowest salary of 5 lakh and an average salary of 7.2 lakh. That is NIT Durgapur for you. Right. And this way we collected and collected information for 15 such IITs slash NITs and which is what we're going to show you here. Let's start with IIT Kanpur. Uh, 86 students participated for placement, 74 were placed, which is 86% placement rate. In Ropa, 23 students sat for placement, 16 were placed, 69.57% placement. In Gandhinagar, 28 sat for placement, 24 were placed, 85.71%. But if you carefully notice that the student intake was 38. So if you actually, if we have always noticed a correlation between the number of students who opt out for, of placement or people who actually opt in for placement. The lower the placement chances, the more the opt-outs in the sense that the lesser students who are registering for placement to be placed because there is no job. So they don't even register in a sense, which is what happened here in my opinion because 38 students sat for placement, uh, rather were, was the intake and only 28 sat for placement and 24 were placed. Right. If you take it from the actual students admitted, only 63% of the students were placed. In IIT Jammu also similar case, 40 students were registered, uh, you know, intake, 24 registered, 24 placed, 100% placement. But if you take it from the intake, it's 60% placement. Right. Jodhpur, 21 sat for placement, 17 were placed. Again, if you notice very carefully, the total number of students here is 42 but only 21 registered for placement. And that's the reason why you can claim 80% placement percentage, but from the intake, it's only 40%. Durgapur, 68 sat for placement, 40 were placed. Uh, Rurkula, 72 sat for placement, 50 were placed. Dhanbad, 34 sat for placement and 23 were placed. Now, if you look at the overall placement percentage, just, you actually have the data here. We also have the average CTC. In Kanpur, it was 19.9 .9 lakh for chemical. IIT Roper, we don't have all data. Gandhinagar was 17.06, Jammu was 9.3, uh, Jodhpur was 11.66, 
Rurkela was 10.91, Dhanbad was 17.28 and Durgapur was 7.2 lakh rupees. You also have the maximum CTC and the average CTC. Moving further, IIT Rurki, 111 students sat for placement, 72 to place, 70.27% average uh, uh, placement percentage. Hamirpur, 59 sat for placement, 55 were place, 93.22. Uh, Suratkal, 49 students sat for placement, 37 were place, 75.1. Jaipur, uh, MNIT Jaipur, 95 sat for placement, 72 were place, 75.79% placement. Calicut, 17 sat for placement, 54 were place, 68.35. But if you take it from the actual intake, it's only 46.55%. This is very alarming. Same thing with VNIT Nagpur, 45% placement from the intake and 64% from the actual students who registered for placement. And IIT Thirupati is very alarming, very very alarming because 37 students was the total student intake. Only 13 sat for placement, 24 students did not sit for placement. That's a very alarming number and only 7 were placed. So you very clearly see a correlation between the kind of placement percentage the institutions are getting and number of students opting out of placement process itself. So if that is the case at the intake level, it's only 19% placement is what you have. But they showed 53% because so much 24 students opted out of placement. Now if you look at this again, the correlation will also happen here. 6.84 as the average CTC uh, at Hamirpur, 10.86 uh, at Suratkal, 10.23 for uh, you know Jaipur, 9.68 for Calicut. 12.25 for uh, Tirupati and 7.93 for Nagpur. Now, overall, if you look at this data, what is the data that we have at this point in time? We actually have data of 15 institutions that are, you know, uh, uh, that have participated in, in this data process. 1061 students was the actual intake. 844 registered for placement. The drop is about 220 here, 216 or something like 217, and only 631 students were placed. From the intake, it is only 60% placement, 59% placement. From the, those who participated for placement, 75% placement. And the average salary was 11.62. Right. Now, if you look at it from here also, if you see this very closely here, the reason why I say that, you know, such a drop is massive is, now look at this. This is about CS branch that we have as data. 23 institutions started participated for placement. 2,332 students actually was approved intake and 2,188 students participated in placement. So if you now look at this percentage, about 90 to 93% participate in placement. But when you look at this, only about 80% participate in placement. That is a difference that we are talking about here. That the more the placement prospects, the more the number of students who register for placement. And the lesser the prospect, the lesser the number of students who register for placement. Very clearly that is shown here. And because of that, if you look at it from the uh, intake, it's 81% here and it's only 59% here. But from the registered, if you look at it, it's 86% here and the, and the average CTC is 20.36 here versus 11.62 here. So we are dealing with about 45% kind of a drop in terms of 42-43% uh, drop in terms of the average CTC as compared to the best branch, which is CS. Of course, CS does very, very well. We all know that. But you should know what are your chances of getting into possibly a CS in a lesser known IIT slash NIT as compared to a chemical engineering? Unless, of course, you want to do chemical engineering because that's what you're interested in. That is where your interest lies. I would never ask you to do a course which is just based on placement. It obviously has to be based on your interest. But if you're looking at placement as if one of the outcomes, then you should be very clear of the kind of data that we're dealing with and that will help you make a better choice. If you want me to cover any other branch that is very important for you, please write to me here and I'll be working on that because we have data at this point in time for about 35, 40 branches. We're going to do, do it one by one. But if there's any urgency, anything that you want, please write to us. We'll be happy to cover that for you. Subscribe to BTEC 360. This will be the go-to destination for every student who's doing BTEC. Thank you so much. Namaste.